Hello, this is Tim Bivens. Um, this is for Web 215, Pitt Community College. Um, we are trying to get a Bitnami stack running and specifically try to get Express working on there. Um, a couple of you asked me for some instructions on how to do this, so let's get started and do that. All right. um, the first thing you'll need, and I think you've all done this, is to have Bitnami stack installed. Um, that is necessary, and we'll get that running in a second. Um, you'll need this link. This is the instructions I'll be following here, right? So you'll need that link, and that is in Moodle as well. Um, and you need your command line interface, so the console in Windows or um, the terminal in a Mac. Um, because that's where we'll be entering all our commands. All right. So let's get started. You'll see that um, you have to open up your manager for the Bitnami stack. Right. You'll see that both of my servers are not running currently. Right. Um, and you can see that this is where my Express application would show up if my servers were running. Correct? All right. Um, it is not currently running, so you don't see anything. Right? <clears throat> All right. So first we need to just start our servers. So you just need to say start all. And wait for these little lights to turn green. Now you see that both of our servers are running, the MongoDB and the Apache. At this point, we come back to the welcome screen. Um, it's good to open up the application folder so that you know where everything is stored in the main stack. All right, so this is what the actual folder structure looks like for the main stack. Note that all of our projects will be stored in our projects folder. Note that I already have a sample. Well, actually, it's called sample two. So I'll create the sample today. All right. All right. So let's go do that. So we're going to look at the instructions that we're going to follow. Right? So what we need to do is go to the folder in our command line. Right. So here's my command line. Um, I want to go to the folder um, for my application, right? And the easiest way to do that on a Mac is to say change CD, right? And then I'm going to just throw this folder in there. And then I can hit enter. Right? If I put ls means list. Right? Um, and it lists my whole structure there. Right? There is, in fact, a projects folder in the structure here. Um, so this first line of the instructions, mkdirs make, make directory projects and change directory projects. We don't need the first line, right? Because we're we've already I've already created it. If you haven't created the projects folder, then you can do that. So what we need to do is change directory to the projects folder, right? Projects, and you can list now. And you'll notice that I have two projects in the projects folder. You can actually say this one like that. All right. Okay. Um, now, this next thing, the next line, express sample, you see here, um, that actually creates 
an express project called whatever you name it. In this case, sample, right? And then we're going to change direct change the directory to that folder, and then we're going to um, use the Node Packet Manager to install. Right? So we're going to say express sample. Right. It does its work and it creates that whole structure. At this point, you can switch out and you can go in here and you'll notice that we do in fact have that whole file structure for us, right? All right. Okay. Um, I need to change directories to sample. And then I need to run np install all right that should work all right now I should be able to run the application by typing this And this won't return because it is actually running now. So your server actually keeps running, and that's why you don't see any output from here. Uh, at this point, you should be able to go to localhost colon 3000 and hit enter, and you should get that. Um, this means your express application is, in fact, running, and we're ready to move on to our steps. Um, but until we get to this point, we, it's pointless to move on, right? So please follow those instructions, and hopefully it'll work for you.